Ano lang kung mamamaging sa ko? Oo po, oo po. Ay, kanya mo raging sa ko.
Let us include in our prayers the following intentions. Thanksgiving offered by Johnny and Emily Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lilia Suiko, Glory Bell, Lino and Rodora for health and prosperity, Alison Luis Palorma for the gift of life, Ardith Palo Palorma and baby Rafael for safe delivery, Carlos Corpus for the gift of life. And for the special intentions offered by Mr. Amado Golia Jr., Cesar and Doris for passing the board exam and promotion and permanent employment. Maria Teresa Arquiza Tesoro, Chloe Corpus for good health. And for the eternal repose of the souls of Julieta, Nancy, Jose Esperanza, Vicente Sr., Vicente Jr., Caridad, Toong, Erlinda, Narcisa, Nathan, Vincent, Maria Jennifer, Rosario, Jose, Antonio, Juanito, Norma, Coke, Victor, Rolando, Maxima, Valentina, Gustin, Vita, Nemesio, Apolinario, Jovita, Domingo, Lino, Virginia, Anselmo, Beverly, Melvin, Rogelio, Nida, Juanita, Vicente, Angelica, Basilio Sr., Zoila, George, Porferio, Nina, and Von Mark. Our bread and wine, Mr. and Mrs. Johnny and Emily Go, and our mass sponsors, Sacred Heart, Lady Circle, Stella Maris Alumni Association, and June and Mary Ann Cervantes. The Mid-Autumn Festival in Chinese is also called the Moon Festival or the Mooncake Festival. Chinese, we call it Tiong Chiu Tiet. It is the second most important festival in China after the Chinese New Year. It is also celebrated by many other Asian countries, such as Singapore, Malaysia, and the Philippines. Mid-Autumn Festival has a history of over 3,000 years. This is a celebration of rice harvest and many fruits. Ceremonies are held both to give thanks for the harvest and to encourage the harvest giving light to return in the coming year. As the second most important festival in China, Mid-Autumn Festival is celebrated in many traditional ways, such as enjoying dinner with family, eating mooncakes, appreciating the moon, and many more. Mooncakes are the most representative food for Mid-Autumn Festival. The mooncake is not just food in Chinese culture. Mooncakes symbolize family reunion, and their round shape symbolizes wholeness and unity, as well as completeness and togetherness. A full moon symbolizes prosperity and reunion for the whole family. Round mooncakes complement the harvest moon in the night sky at the Mid-Autumn Festival. Traditionally, ancient Chinese used the Mid-Autumn Festival to pray for the harvest, fine weather, and peace for the country. Because the harvest was tied to the moon cycle, the festival is meant to take place when the moon is at its fullest.
Okay, salamat din. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today is the 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Every human being is most precious in God's sight because He has created us in His image and likeness and has destined us to share His life forever in heaven. That is why our loving Creator has become also our Good Shepherd, who seeks out and brings back to the fold the sheep that have gone astray. Let us participate in this Eucharist with gratitude, for we too may have been among the sheep that got lost and who were rescued by Christ's self-sacrificing love. With our theme, Ang Dios nga atong gisimba, mo'y Dios sa gugma o kaluoy. And together with our presider, Most Reverend Alberto Abet Uy, Bishop of Tagbilaran Bohol, and Most Reverend Romolo G. Valles Didi, Archbishop of Davao, and together with other concelebrating priests, let us all stand and together sing joyfully our entrance hymn. Tell 
Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Bishop. Why are we wearing red today? It's simply because we are happy. Especially the Chinese community, we are celebrating the Mid-Autumn uh, Festival, the Mooncake Festival. And so we gather to celebrate this festival and we thank the Lord by celebrating the Eucharist. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with Amen. your spirit. Let us now prepare ourselves to receive the Lord. First, we humbly acknowledge before Him that we are all sinners, all of us, and that each one of us needs to ask for forgiveness. I confess yes, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, words in, what in what I have, have done and in and what, what I have failed, failed to do. do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Yeah. 
主的羔羊，等父者。Upon us, Creator and Ruler of all things, and that we may feel the working of Your mercy, grant that we may serve You with all our heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, Your Son, who lives and reigns with You in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once to your people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they have become depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molten cup and worshipping it, sacrificing to it, and crying out, This is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. I see how stiff-necked this people is, continued the Lord to Moses. Let me alone, then, that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord, his God, saying, Why, O Lord, should your wrath blaze up against your own people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, with such great power and with so strong a hand? Remember your servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and all this land that I promised, I will give your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment he had threatened to inflict on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt. And for my sin, cleanse me. I will rise and go to my Father. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. I will rise and go to my Father. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. My sacrifice, O God, is a contrite spirit, a heart contrite and humbled, O oh God, you will not spurn. I will rise and go to my Father. I will rise and go to my Father. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I am grateful to him who has strengthened me, Christ Jesus, our Lord, because he considered me trustworthy in appointing me to the ministry. I was once a blasphemer and a persecutor and arrogant but I have been mercifully treated because I acted out of ignorance in my unbelief. Indeed, the grace of our Lord has been abundant, along with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. This saying is trustworthy and deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Of these, I am the foremost. But for that reason, I was mercifully treated, so that in me, as the foremost, Christ Jesus might display all his patience as an example for those who would come to believe in him for everlasting life to the King of Ages, incorruptible, invisible, the only God, honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Shall run away. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Tax collectors and sinners were all drawing near to listen to Jesus. But the Pharisees and scribes began to complain, saying, This man welcomes sinners and eats with them. So to them he addressed this parable. What man among you, having a hundred sheep and losing one of them, would not leave the 99 in the desert and go after the lost one until he finds it. And when he does find it, he sets it on his shoulders with great joy. And upon arriving home, he calls together his friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, in just the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous people who have no need of repentance. Or what woman have ten coins and losing one would not light a lamp and sweep the house, searching carefully until she finds it. And when she does find it, she calls together her friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me because I have found the one coin that I lost. In just the same way, I tell you, there will be rejoicing among the angels of God over one sinner who repents. Then he said, A man had two sons, and the younger son said to the father, Father, give me a share of your estate that should come to me. So that the father divided the property between them. After five days, the younger son collected all his belongings and set off to a distant country where he squandered his inheritance on a life of dissipation. When he had freely spent everything, a severe famine struck that country and he found himself in dire need. So he hired himself out to no one to one of the local citizens who sent him to his farm to tend the swine. And he longed to eat his fill of the pods on which the swine fed, but nobody gave him any. Coming to his senses, he thought, how many of my father's hired workers have more than enough food to eat? But here am I, dying from hunger. I shall get up and go to my father, and I shall say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. Treat me as you would treat one of your hired workers. So he got up and went back to his father. While he was still a long way off, his father caught sight of him and was filled with compassion. He ran to his son, embraced him, and kissed him. His son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I no longer deserve to be called your son. But his father ordered his servants quickly Bring the finest robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Take the fattened cob and slaughter it. Then let us celebrate 
with a feast. Because this son of mine was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. Then the celebration began. Now the older son had set out in the field, and on his way back, as he neared the house, he heard the sound of music and dancing. He called one of the servants and asked what this might mean. The servant said to him, Your brother has returned, and your father has slaughtered the fattened calf, because he has him back safe and sound. He became angry. And when he refused to enter the house, his father came out and pleaded with him. He said to his father in reply, Look, all these years I serve you, and not once did I disobey your orders. Yet you never gave me even a young goat to feast on with my friends. But when this son of yours returns, who swallowed up your property with prostitutes, for him you slaughtered the fat and cult. He said to him, My son, you are here with me always. Everything I have is yours. But now we must celebrate and rejoice because your brother was dead and has come to life again. He was lost and has been found. <clears throat> Brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please remain standing. Alleluia. Be seated. Are you happy today? Yes, Pagchur Muba. Are you happy today? Yes, Pagpaka na tuang ginoo. Today, I am very happy to be given this opportunity to celebrate the Eucharist with you. And with no less than the most kind-hearted Archbishop of Dabao, Most Reverend Romolo Valles. Pakpaka na to si Bishop. Archbishop, thank you so much. Sa imong pagtugot nga makamisa ko din he. You know what? When I asked his permission, he texted me back. Ingon siya, Bishop Abet, pag muani ka sa Dabao, ipatagbo ka na kong banda. And I said in reply, Bishop, ungi mo ng buhaton, di ko muna og sa aeroplano. To Father Bobong Gonzaga, Father, thank you so much for inviting me here. Kinisilang duha, gawas nga mga gwapo, mga buutan pagajud. Kabalumog nga, no? Mga bulanom ng guna sila. No. Nabay lang mga tagabuhol dire. Palihog hands up, be. O, oh, daghan di ay. So, manguli po mo sa ato kung fiesta. O, buutan no? You know what? During the pandemic, di may mayor sa buhol. Nagdili sa pagtapok-tapok. Pero di agay o sa kalula nga nag-ihaw gyog baboy. Unya gibadlong siya sa barangay captain, lula, giing na lagi og dili maghikay. Pero nasuko ang lula, miingon siya, nganong magbuot man ang major, mayor, ija bang baboy among ihawon? To our Chinese brothers and sisters who are here, what a privilege it is for me to celebrate with you the Mooncake Festival this weekend. 
Nagdala ba mong mooncake? Nay, nagdala. Salamat ha. Favorite riba na nako. You know, a mooncake is round. And in Chinese culture, roundness symbolizes completeness and togetherness. So these days are best for family reunions and gathering of friends. If you notice, the, Euch the Eucharistic bread is also round, which reminds us of God's endless and undying love for us. But unlike mooncakes, the consecrated host is not a symbol, but a real presence of Jesus in our midst. So today is indeed a day of great rejoicing, and it's only appropriate that we express to God our gratitude by celebrating the Holy Eucharist. Once again, pakpaka na to ang ginoo. There is a meaningful quote that says, If God did not forgive sinners, heaven would be a lonely place. Kung ang Diyos dili pa makamaong mo pa saylo, ang langit, mingaw kaayo. Di habitaw babay ba nga namatay? Di na siya sa ganghaan, sa gate sa heaven. Sus, pagkakita ni San Pedro niya, miingon si San Pedro kang Jesus, Lord, ato bang pasudlo ning babayhana? Nga marites raba ni kaayo? Marites raba kaayo ni siya. Kunya abi ninyo ang tubag ni Lord, ingon siya, Pedro, pasudla lang na siya, luoy man. Tuod man, gipasulod ni Pedro. But with the warning, ayaw ba ya pag marites din niya, langit na raba ni. Abi ninyo, first day man, so gisuroy siya ni San Pedro dito sa langit para ma-orient. Sus, paglakaw nila, gikahinagbo man nila ang iyang ugangan nga babae nga namatay o una niya. Nakurat siya. Ingon siya, uy, nalangit day po ni. Napertir ba ning ilarag batasan? Gusto unta niya libakon ang iyang ugangan nga to kang San Pedro. Pero nainom doon siya, gibadlong na ba siya? Why marites din niya? So, wala siya mo tingog. After a while, sus, nakurat na po siya. Kay iya mangkikahinagbo ang ilang silingan nga kaniad to sa buhi pa kusog mangutang. Susingin siya, hala, nalangit dahil po ni siya. Nga di na ba ni mubayad o utang? You know what? After a while, sus dito na siya na pungot, na kurat, na pungot pa. Nga naman, ang iyang kahinagbo, ang kabit sa iyang bana. Susingin siya, pastilan. Nalangit na ipunin siya. Nga nung nalangit man eh. Walang gito siya, nagpugong na siya ang kagalingon ba? Pero kadugayan nilang lakaw dito sa langit, si notice nga ang tanan nga ikahinagbo nila, siga man ang mata. Mato nang utana siya ni San Pedro. Nyor, nga naman mga tao din sa langit nga, nagsiga man ang mata. Nyamingon San Pedro niya, di din na mo siga. Nga nakurat man na sila, nakakita ni mo nga nalangit po ka. <laughs> The famous American writer and theologian, Andrew Greeley, once made this remark, If we would lose the whole Bible, except chapter 15 of the Gospel of St. Luke, we would still have the essence of Christianity. Why? What is in this part of the gospel that makes it essential to Christianity? We just heard it actually. Three parables that portray God's infinite mercy. Namely, the parable of the lost sheep, the parable of the lost coin, and then there is the parable of the prodigal son. All in chapter 15 
of the Gospel of St. Luke. Bahala, malimta ninyo ang ubang bahin sa Biblia. But don't forget this chapter 15 of the Gospel of St. Luke. Because here, two things we immediately learn. First, we are assured that God will do everything to find and save the one who is lost. Buhaton Giyod sa ginoo ang tanan, nga maluwas ang makasasala. And second, we are told that there is great rejoicing. Magpiesta Giyod sa langit for every sinner who is found and redeemed. Commenting on this gospel passage, His Holiness, Pope Francis said, This is the whole gospel. The entire message, good news of Christianity. It is about a joyful God. And what is that joy? It's the joy of forgiving a sinner. Si Pope Francis once, he shared an experience he had when he was still a young priest. Yang alan kaniyato, Father Jorge, Padre Jorge Bergoglio. Diya manggoy 80 year old nga tigulang ba babae, miad to niya kay mo kumpisal. Yang gikumidyahan, yang gignan lula. Mo kumpisal day ka, wamang kay sala. Pero mitubag ang tigulang, Father Jorge. Ang tanan makasala. Walay tao nga, walay sala. Unya, gusto man sukdo ni Father Jorge ang tigulang sa iyang pagtuo. Yang giingnan, lula, kung ang Diyos dili mo pa sa ilo ni mo, unsaon ta na lang ni? Nya, the Lola answered him, Father, God is full of mercy. Pasailoon yung kuniya. And then, mingon si Father Jorge, lula, Ha? Unsaon man nimo pagkasiguro nga ang Dios mo pasaylo gyud. Then the Lola answered him calmly, Father, kun dili pa makamaong mo pasaylo ang Dios, kining kalibutan dugay rang natapos. Brothers and sisters, how true. If God doesn't know how to forgive, the world has long been gone. Allow me to ask you this. Will you be happy to see sinners in heaven? Happy mo, Dili? Ah, duda pa mo, no? Huh? Will you be happy to see your enemies being forgiven in heaven? I know. Duda pa ta. You know, the scribes and the Pharisees were not happy to see Jesus eating with tax collectors and sinners. They complained, this man welcomes sinners and eats with them. Siguro some of us are like the Pharisees, no? Kini nga mga pulong nga pagreklamo nagagikan sa mga tao nga nagtuo nga sila walay sala. Abtik lang sila maghukom, magjudge sa uban nga makasasala. Jesus, we are told today, gave them the parables in order to open their eyes, to let them realize that they were wrong. We are all sinners, pati ako, obispo, pati si Archbishop. Each one of us is the lost sheep, the lost coin, and the lost son. But the good news is, the Good Shepherd, Jesus, will do everything to save us. And this is the thing that the scribes and the Pharisees cannot accept. We pray that we don't become like them. A spiritual teacher correctly said, Better a humble sinner than a self-righteous saint. Mas maayo pa kuno ang makasasala nga mapaubsanon kaysa taong matarong nga mapahitason. These are play of words, but there is a message there. Ang mapaubsanon, makasasala, 
Pero magpaubos, mga iyo, ginagpasaylo. Busa, maiya ang kaluwasan. Pero ang tao mapaitas on, dili makakita sa iyang sayop, dili mo angkon, na dili, ginamangay pasaylo, busa, dili, maluwas sa ginoo. Someone gave us this piece of advice, do not judge others simply because they sin differently than you. How true. Dili kita angay magukom sa uban, tungod kay pari humanta may sala. Lain-lain lang ang atong sala. So better for us to humbly recognize our sins and failures like we do in the Mass, in the beginning. Mga itagpasaylo, and then together we beg for God's mercy. And the good news is, like the father of the prodigal son, when God sees us, even from afar, nagplano pa lang ta mga itagpasaylo ba? Sus, mudagan ang ginoo. Ang amahan, mudagan, mutagbo, mugakus na to. Because He is very happy that we are back. Kabalo mo, na ay bagong balaod sa simbahan ka ron? Basta taas nga pari, mahimo taas ang wali. Sakto ba ko, Archbishop? But let me end my long homily with a short story. It's a beautiful, true story. There was one priest sa Roman ni Nahitabo. One time, pauli siya sa ilang simbahan. Nalabyan niya dia sa gawas ba? Sa may steps sa ilang simbahan. There was this beggar. Sus pag hatag niya sa iyang limos, hangad man ang beggar. Nasyak siya. Because he recognized the man. Iya man yung kauban sa seminary before. Di ba? Nanguta na siya. Bro, di ba na pari mabuka? And the beggar replied, Yes, bro, na pari po ko. Pero na buang man ko sa bisyo, ni gawas ko sa pagkapari, niya karoon niya, makalilimos na ko. I'm already a beggar. You know what? The priest was given an opportunity to have an audience with the late John Paul II, who is now a saint. No? And then, during the audience, iag yung gishare ang katubang iahang classmate sa seminary nga na pari, inahimong beggar, iang gisultian ng Pope. And the Pope was sad. You know that evening, pag uli sa pari sa ilang balay, he received a call from the Vatican. The Pope is inviting him for a dinner with the instruction na ipadala ka itong beggar sa dinner. Suslipay kayo ang pari. He was so happy. Dito na yun siya sa beggar, yung ipaybalo. At first, ang beggar, bali ba't yun? Dagang kay siya grasun, maulaw ko eh. I'm a beggar, I'm dirty. Baho ko, wako'y sinina. But the priest was able to convince him. Ako rin bahala ni mo. So luban, tigag ninot yung sinina. To make the story short, nanihapon yun sila, they have a dinner with the Pope. You know what? After the dinner, the Pope asked to talk with the priest privately. The beggar, with the beggar, dito sa iyong office. Dugay sila nag-istorya. Dugay kayo. When the beggar came out of the office, sus, Klaro kayo sa iyong mga mata ba? Nga grabe yung hinilakay ba? And the priest asked him, Bro, what happened? What happened inside? And the beggar shared. And siya nga, you know, inside the Pope asked my story. Asked me about my story. And I shared everything to him. Iagyod nga, gisul titanan. Apil lang iyang pagbasul ba sa kaulahian. You know, my dear friends, the moving part of the story, the Pope decided to reinstate that beggar to the priesthood. Gibalik niya ba ang iyahang pagkapari? And you know what? This is now the thing. The Pope asked that beggar to hear his confessions. Pari na ka ha, balik na yung pagkapari. Karun mo, kumpisal ko ni mo. This is the Pope. And the beggar was shocked. Yung siya lo, my dear Pope, my dear Holiness, please don't do this to me. I am a beggar. Look at me. I am a beggar. I cannot do it. But the Pope looked at the priest and said, Who among us is not a beggar? I also come before the Lord as a beggar, asking, begging for forgiveness 
of my sins. Mga igsuon, human mi kumpisal ang Santo Papa ngadto sa beggar, ang beggar nga nahi, nabalik sa pagkapari, mi kumpisal pod sa tanan dito sa Santo Papa. And you know what? The Pope gave him a new assignment, a special assignment. And you know what that assignment was? To minister to the beggars on the steps of the church where he had been found. To the humility of Pope John Paul II, who saw himself as God saw him, this former beggar received a new hope, a new mission, and a new beginning of his life. What a great joy. Mga Iksoon, whenever you come to that moment, simba ko lang nga mahagbong mo, please don't forget this. God is always there waiting for you. If God did not forgive sinners, heaven would be a lonely place. Please all stand. Together we profess our faith. I believe in one God, God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty maker, maker of heaven and earth, earth of all things, things visible and invisible. And invisible. I, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the only begotten Son of God, Son of God born, born of the, the Father, Father before, before all ages, ages God, from God from God, light from light, from light true God, God from true God. God. Begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord's tender love and concern for those who get lost because of sin is for us an encouragement to approach Him with full confidence. Let us now pray for the needs of all humankind and our own. As we say, Caring Shepherd, hear us. Caring Shepherd, hear us. For the Church, the universal sacraments of God's merciful love, may she constantly seek the conversion of sinners and lead them back to God's embrace. Let us pray to the Lord. Caring Shepherd, Shepherd hear us. us. For parents, teachers, and others who are responsible for young people, may they never lose hope when the young go astray, but rather seek their salvation through patient dialogue and sincere understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. Garing, Garing Shepherd, Shepherd, hear us. For our catechists, religion teachers, and all those involved in teaching the Catholic faith to our youth and children, may all their sacrifices be fruitful and may they enjoy the support of the whole community. Let us pray to the Lord. Garing, Garing Shepherd, Shepherd, hear us. For all grandparents, May they impart wisdom and unconditional love to their grandchildren as they enjoy their respect and care-filled concerns. Let us pray to the Lord. Caring, Caring Shepherd, Shepherd, hear us. For all of us, may we become ever more a community that care for all its members, especially those who have gone astray, and rejoices in their coming back to the home of the Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Caring Shepherd, Shepherd hear us. us. For the thanksgiving offered by Johnny and Emily Go and family, 
Mr. and Mrs. Lilia Sueco Colribal, Lino and Rodora for health and prosperity, Alison Luis Palorma for the gift of life, Ardeth Palorma and baby Rafael for safe delivery, Carlo Corpus for the gift of life, and special intention offered by Mr. Amado Golia Jr., Cesar and Doris for passing board exam and promotion permanent employment, Maria Cesar Arqueza Tesoro, Glory Corpus for good health. Let us pray to the Lord. Caring, Caring Shepherd, Shepherd, hear, hear us. us. For the souls of Julieta, Nancy, Jose, Esperanza, Vicente Senior, Vicente Junior, Caridad, To Ong, Erlinda, Narcisa, Nathan Vincent, Maria Jennifer, Rosario, Jose, Antonio, Juanito, Norma, Cook Victor, Rolando, Maxima, Valentina, Gustin, Vita, Nemesio, Apolinario, Jovita, Domingo, Lino, Virginia, Anselmo, Beverly, Melvin, Rogelio, Nida, Juanita, Vicente, Angelica, Basilio Senor, Zoila, George, Perferio, Nina, and Juan Mark. Let us pray to the Lord. Caring Shepherd, hear us. Loving God, we thank you for your boundless love and patience with us whenever we go astray. Give us ever closer to you and make us eager to cooperate with you in bringing about conversion of others, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Bang 都是来自你慷慨的恩泽 Yeah. 
Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor on our supplications, O Lord, and in your kindness accept this, your servant's offerings, that what each has offered to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Amen. your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer, to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you love in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and the saints, we also give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, myself, your servant, Bishop, 
with Alberto, the Bishop of Tagbilaran, our presider, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Remember the souls of those whom we commend to you in our prayers. They and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Bless those who are celebrating their birthdays and anniversaries, this Chinese community and all other communities who are celebrating this festival. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord 
be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now give one another our Lord's peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we all who are invited to this banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Stand. Let us pray. O Lord, may the working of this heavenly gift take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effects and not our own desires may always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some announcement. Our second collection is intended for our parish concerns. The Feast of Our Lady of Peña Francia will be on September 18, 2022. There will be a novena mass in honor of Our Lady of Peña Francia until September 17, 2022 at 5 p.m. September 23, 2022 is the feast day of St. Padre Pio. There will be a novena from se September 14 to 22 at 5 p.m. For more details, please visit our parish office. Thank you. And with so much joy, we thank the sponsors in this Holy Mass, the Sacred Heart Ladies Circle, Stella Maris Alumni Association, June and Mary Ann Cervantes, and our bread and wine offer, Mr. and Mrs. Johnny and Emily Go. And for our presider, we thank Most Reverend Alberto Abet Uy with Most Reverend Romolo G. Valles, and other priests who celebrated in this Mass, Fa Father Kim Lachica, Father Zenon Ampong, Father Bong Gonzaga, and Monsignor Jimmy Gamboa. Thank you so much. Please all stand for the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son 
and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Yeah.